me and my me and my brother we watched the Minions movie the other day. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have seen that. It was it was an interesting experience actually because a big part of my depression is that um, I'm constantly aware that every second that passes brings me closer to my inevitable demise. And it was good to have my brother on my team for a, for an hour and twenty two minutes there. <laughs> But something, something did alarm me about uh, the Minions movie, and that was um, that wasn't the shoddy character design because I was quite aware of that going in. But what that what that was was the general life philosophy that the Minions take, and that's to, to scour the land to find the most despicable leader they can, and then to to serve him. You know that 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 at first lead, leads them to to follow a a cartoon depiction of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, who they presumably aid in the. Uh, the chomping of other dinosaurs. Uh, then there's the uh, there's a very cartoon cartoon camp depiction of Dracula, who they presumably help with the uh, the audition for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, and then there's uh, a cartoon depiction of Napoleon Bonaparte, who they uh, presumably help in the slaughter of millions, um, operating his cannons with a trademark slapstick whimsy. Um, but I did think to myself, like, if, if the minions will, will sink to that level of depravity, then, you know, what were they doing in the 40s? <laughs> What's the minion stance on the Israeli-Palestine conflict? <laughs> do they side with the state of Israel because of the initial occupations? Or do they side with the state of Palestine because, to be honest, the, the colours on the pan-Arab flag are, are fucking garish. <laughs> I mean, they, what, what were you thinking, Palestine? They, put, they, took, they took snotty green, yeah? They took snotty green and they said, oh, what should we put on top of that? Fours Mondeo red. <laughs> uh, more like Despicable You. 